Hi, thanks for using my court coach. I'm Sarah and I'll be your instructor today as we talk about the summons for a parentage case, also known as the form FL210. This is a form that you would be filing and serving alongside your petition to establish parentage in a case. Um, it's a pretty simple form. There's just a few things I want to point out to you. Uh, so to start, you want to write in the respondent's name at the very top and your name next to petitioner's name at the uh, below this box. Leave the case number blank for now. Um, the court clerk will fill that in once she assigns a case number to the case. This form puts the respondent on notice that, that they are being uh, sued, for lack of a better word, um, and that they have 30 days to file a response to this paternity action. Um, and it tells them that if they do not file that response within 30 days, the court can make orders uh, affecting their right and that they would not be able to participate. Um, at the bottom of the form, you want to list the name and address of the court, and then your name, address, and telephone number. That's all there is for you to fill out on this form. The most important part of this form is the back. There are some restraining orders that go into place right away against you, and then once the respondent is served, that basically prohibit either of you from removing the minor child or children at issue um, from the state of California or applying for a passport uh, for them without written consent or court order. Um, and then this restraining order will remain in effect until the judgment is entered, the petition is dismissed, or the court makes other orders. Um, so that is the most important part of this form. And as I said, this gets served alongside with the petition. And I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.